Did my sister scam me? Mm. I'll let you decide. It's the end of my junior year. It's time for me to move out of my apartment. So I start calling people, asking for help. Cause you know, I live in a city, I don't have a car. I need someone to pack all this stuff because as I'm sure you'll understand, I'm lazy and I don't wanna move. Now I'm not you, but I think it's safe to say the ideal moving situation for you would be just sleeping while someone else does it. You and I have that in common. It's crazy to have this like lazy connection. So I'm calling everyone I know with a car. And it's just lots of no, no, no. But my dad, my dad was like, nope. Unless of course it pays. <sighs> so there I was with about a week to move out of my apartment and no way to get the stuff out of there. When all of a sudden my phone rings. Hello? Hello, brother. It was my sister. I heard you needed help moving. Who told you that? Where are you right now? All that matters, brother, is I'm in a better place. And soon, you will be too. Don't make me call the cops on you. Be ready, brother, for I arrive at nine on Saturday. As you can imagine, I never really hung out with my sister. We just didn't get along. And so a phone call out of the blue to help me move? A little suspicious. I mean, she lived in Boston for about a year and not once did she ever want to hang out, which makes me think that what happened was all part of her master plan. And I know you want to ask. Alex, did you crash your sister's car and now you're covering it up with a ridiculous conspiracy theory that she'd frame? That didn't happen, I swear. So Saturday morning rolls around and she shows up at exactly 9 a.m. And I'm thankful that she brought her car, but I'm a little bit suspicious. So just in case, I give her all the heavy boxes. I take the light ones, cause you know, I need to be ready in case something goes wrong. You know, I need all my energy. It's purely for protection. I am protecting myself here. So the car is all loaded up and my sister's like, would you like to drive brother? Mm, nope, I'm good. That is a shame. <laughs> So we get to the new place, unload all my stuff. We make a couple more trips. Every time my sister's like, are you sure you don't want to drive? And every time I say no, she seems to take a longer and more convoluted route to get back to our apartment, right? You know, if you drove, we could take the highway. It's much faster. She makes a 15 minute ride, take an hour. And then every time like clockwork, are you sure you don't want No! Your choice. And if I'm being totally honest, it was starting to bother me. All the zigging and zagging and talking, and I'm just like, can we get there? Little did I know, this was exactly what she wanted. But you could drive it, brother. I don't want to drive. I barely want to be in this thing. It's like a 91 Oldsmobile. It wasn't exactly Fast and the Furious. It's more just... Just furious. <laughs> Got a nice car. Maybe then I'll want to drive. And I swear to God, she says, a new car. What a great idea. So we finished moving all the stuff and we're at my new place, taking it all in and it's a very exciting moment. Ruined because I didn't have my wallet. Very suspicious. I'm telling you, my sister took it out so we would have to drive back one more time. It just keeps getting better. Brother, would you like to drive? Yes, fine, give me the keys. We were cruising, set to get there in 10 minutes flat, swerving left and right all down Sturrow Drive. <laughs> then I start noticing the gas pedal stuck, we're flying all over the place. She wanted me to crash, and the whole time my sister's like, yes, yes, brother, drive us to the edge. I crashed it, you guys. She set me up. This is exactly what she wanted. Now is it possible that I crashed it because we were hydroplaning from the rain and the car spun around and hit a guardrail? It was an accident. No, absolutely not. This was a setup and I am sticking to my story. Also, I did get my wallet back only to leave it on the bus on the way back to my apartment. Sister, if you're listening, this is not an apology. <laughs> but I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs>